Hey, what's up everyone? This is Evan Carthy from EvanCarthy.com. Today we are going to go over a post I'm fixing to go live with uh, regarding sell gene stock. The symbol is CELG. I uh, did a quick review over it, not a quick review, but a review over it, a technical analysis with some fundamentals to see if I consider it a growth stock. And then for the technical side, I went over the one hour, the daily chart, and the weekly chart. So it's definitely going to be applicable for the rest of 2019 into 2020. So without further ado, let's take a look at the charts. So the first one we've got set up here is the um, one hour chart right here. And so what we're looking at is this is going to be the 76.4% trade. Um, how it gets set up right here is, uh, let me pull that back right there. Uh, how it gets set up is using this swing low going up there's a pivot point high comes down hit the 76.4 percent level that's that purple line and then what that does is and then when it hits the 123.6 extension level that makes this a legitimate 76.4 percent trade so that sets the anchor point down there at 95 dollars and 12 cents so then all you do is you follow the fibonacci extension back up until it comes back and hits the 76.4 percent extension and so i'll show you the, the kicker this one has uh, with it. So as you see with this one, uh, price came through, blue past the 76, exit makes it the 50. Of course, that didn't get hit, hit the 100, never came up and hit the 76.4, which is where the exit would have been for that when it's down there. So it kept on going way down, lower and lower and lower. So this doesn't happen too often, but when it does happen, this is the kicker. What you do is your next entry is going to be the 2.618% Fibonacci extension level. Now, as you can see, this came extremely close but did not hit. But the way I recommend trading if you're going to do this sort of thing is, especially in stocks more so than Forex or futures, is a lot of times stocks, it gets very close to the levels, but then it shoots back up the other way before it gets hit. Where, for instance, in futures and Forex, price seems to hit these levels at least take down and hit it to complete it for sure but the stocks a lot of time gets extremely close but then doesn't hit so for this instance price came down here to a low of $89.09 Fibonacci extension level is $88.86 so that's only about a what's that uh, 86 96 106 uh, 23 cent difference so after this huge drop from about 98.95 down to um, low about 89 dollars uh, 26 cents is not too far off to consider this being hit so technically you don't have to be considered it hit and that would still leave the exit up here at the 76.4 percent exit level but and with stocks especially, I like to play it safe. So for this instance, I'm going to consider this close enough to be hit for it. And so when that does, when it hits the 2.618% level, then price, uh, the exit changes down to the 100% level. So that's where we're going to leave it for this trade. So that's the white box. Down there's entry. Up here's exit, 100% level. And again, I like to make the exit a little bit shorter. So we'll say about 94.90 would be the exit for it rather than hard exit of 95.10. Actually, it's about 94.85, be 25 cents off of it. So that would be considered where I consider the exit for this trade for it to be complete. Now, you could consider it at 96.01, but again, like I said with stocks, I like to play it safe. Where close enough is good enough, especially when you get these big Fibonacci moves. So that is the hourly chart. This is a long setup. Uh, so it currently is at 93.85 about 93.85 so you still have about a dollar or so left on this move for that one right there next we are going to look at the daily chart and then the other one that we also going to look at is the um, weekly chart as well and that will complete it for this one so with the daily chart right here this is again going to be another um, uh, 76.4 percent trade where price just took uh, took off down over here and never came back uh, to it. So that's going to set anchor about 139, the top one. And then what I'm going to do right here is draw this up to the low until the 76.4 hits it, which is going to be this one right here. So there hits 76.4. It's 123, so that sets the bottom anchor for that bar down there. Bring it up right here, about somewhere 74, 17, get close enough to it. 
good enough once and off perfect okay so as you can see this one right here price blew through the 76 never came up to the 50 obviously hit the 100 never came up to 76 and here it goes all the way down so here it definitely hit the 200 so that makes the two excuse me 2.618 so that makes the exit here at the 100% um, level 123.77 and then let's see what it's doing now. So price went down a little bit lower. You don't have to get in again, but you can if you want to. If you want to get down here, say 423.6 level, or any other level is fine. But the main last entry level you're looking at for this trade is the 2.618. And exit up here is the 100 level. So currently price is at 93.87. And let me just draw the white box over because that's going to be the trade level. 93.87. Current hard exit is about at 123.88. Personally, I'd probably bring it down to around 122, maybe 120, 150, something like that, just to ensure when price gets up close to this level, you get out with plenty of profit. So if you get in now, if you're looking at getting in about 937, 103, close to 123 ish, something like that, close to about 19, anywhere between 18 to 20 dollars of profit, depending on when you want to get out um, from this setup right here. So what we're looking at for the one hour chart, we have a long trade. And then for the daily chart, we have another long trade, but the same setups, the 76.4% setup. Now for our last chart, we're gonna look at the weekly chart for it over here. And this one actually is gonna be a short setup that we are in right now. And so let me draw it over here a little bit. It's, let me enlarge this some. So what it is, is, let me get the right area for this, go up, 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 up. I believe this was it right here, and the, yep, there you came, you see, there's the pivot point high, pivot point low, price come up, hit the 76, went down, hit the 123, so that makes it a legitimate 76.4% setup, so then all we do is start drawing the Fibonacci level down, 58.59, is about 58.93 close enough four cents off it's all right okay so price came up hits the 76.4 percent again this is a short trade we're looking at right here so that sets the exit level down here to the 50 percent level 79.47 again like i said earlier i like mine a little bit higher so i'd, I'd if i was doing it i'd probably make, probably make it around like 81 dollars maybe 80 75 something like that just to make sure i get out but when price ever comes up and hits the 100% level at 100.01, then I'd consider this trade to be complete. I do not consider this to be close enough to be complete because the high of this one is 98.97. So you're still looking at over a dollar off um, for this move right here. So I wouldn't consider that one to be close enough to be to being complete for it. So that's why the exit is still done here at the 50% level. But if price does come up and hit the 100% level, then you would enter there, you'd go short there and the exit you'd be looking for is the 76.4 level. The hard, the hard exit is 90.32, but again, I have mine slightly higher, maybe around like 91, 91.25, something like that, just to ensure you got out. And then lastly, for kind of the, the quip to ensure if price really goes against you, there's the 2.618 up here at about 166.48. Then if that does go all the way up there and hit it, then you're looking at the exit coming back down here being 100.01 as the hard exit. So that's only if it does. It doesn't look like it's going to. I mean, you never know. As you saw from those other two ones, price just skyrocketed down way past the 76.4 and the 100% before um, it finally made some stoppage around the 2.618. Here you can see this little bit of a different um, scenario for it. When price hit the 76.4, it definitely had some resistance. Then we got close to the 100, had some more resistance. Now it looks like the 76.4 is turning into some support for it. So again, this is weekly charts. This is obviously going to take a little bit or a lot longer than obviously the daily or the hourly chart for it to complete. But so far, it looks like 76.4 is turning into a support level. So I'll be surprised in the next couple couple weeks, <clears throat> price goes up to the 100.01% uh, level, which would create the next short entry, and that would move the exit to the 76.4. So that's Celgene. Those are the three uh, charts for the technical analysis time frames we're looking for, uh, the hourly, the daily, and the weekly. So you're looking at two long setups versus the weekly short setup. So I wouldn't be surprised, like I just said, Price goes up to the 100%, the $100 level, 
gets that short level trade and then retraces back down to the uh, lower 90s uh, to, to complete that one. And then those long setups from the other charts would also uh, be complete as well. So that's Celgene. I'll have this video live in the post here in just a little bit. And uh, if you want to see anything else, let me know. Thanks. Take care.